In this video we'll demonstrate a very simple mobile application in which uh, the user can tap a button um, to get his current location and then plot that location on a map con on a map control. So you can see here we're running in our mobile simulator inside uh, Firefox which is uh, a browser that does support um, uh, uh, getting the current location. Not all browsers uh, support that. So um, now I'm going to go here and uh, click the get my location button which is going to go and get my current latitude and longitude, fill it into those two fields and then plot my position on the map. But um, whenever you get location information from a device it always prompts for permission. So you need to uh, give the device permission to share your location. So I'm going to go there and say OK. So you can see now that um, uh, the browser has returned the latitude and longitude and now we've plotted that uh, position on the map. So let's go take a look now at how the component was set up to do this. So we'll go over to the builder and we can see here in the builder that what we have is a panel card with um, two fields, latitude and longitude and then a button that says get my location and then we have another panel card that has a Google map in it and we've wrapped these two panel cards in a panel layout and we've said that the uh, the flow direction is top to bottom so we can see here that the first panel card is the top one over there the second panel card is underneath it and the first panel card we've set the height explicitly to 130 pixels so that's why uh, the top panel card is smaller than the bottom panel card. So now let's go take a look at uh, the code over here that does get my location. So we'll go into uh, the on-click event here and we can see that this was all done through Action JavaScript. So we have a uh, method in Action JavaScript called uh, ge uh, geolocation function. So if you just go there and you just type in you'll see it listed over there, geolocation functions. And if we edit this function, we can see that what we're doing over here is we've said that when we retrieve the, uh, um, the information, we'd like to update some fields on the current component. And we've said we'd like to update the latitude control with this value and the longitude uh, control with uh, this value. But there are also other values that you can retrieve from the geolocation object, but we're not bothering about those uh, currently. Then we've also specified that when this function co uh, has uh, completed, in other words when it's, when it's uh, gotten the latitude and longitude, then we'd like to call another function. This is our callback function and we've just specified do map. So next we're going to go take a look at what do map does. So do map is responsible for actually taking the values that were retrieved and putting them into uh, the map control, plotting them on the map control. So let's go now, save this away and go to our JavaScript here and we can look here and we can see here's do map and do map is just running an action um, from action JavaScript. So let's go here and look at the definition of this action called update map. So we'll bring this up, uh, sorry, and uh, so we'll give focus there and then we'll say edit and so there's this action called update map and if we go edit this action we can see that this is also calling a built-in action in action JavaScript called Google Map Methods. So let's uh, look at this uh, definition here. So this is the ID of the map that we want to update so we just pick that from the pick list. Then this is the action name that we wanted so there's a lot of built-in actions here. We just wanted the action that says um, add a marker to the map. Then it says um, how are you going to get the location uh, of the marker and you can basically um, uh, either specify um, an explicit location, um, a control on the uh, component that has a lat latitude longitude value uh, uh, but the problem is that we don't have a single control that has a lat long value in it. We have two controls, one that has lat and one that has long so instead we've specified that we'd like to call a JavaScript function called getLatLong which is going to read the value out of those two controls and uh, construct a, a single value, comma delimited value. So let's pause now and pick this up in the next video. So we're continuing our discussion now. 
Um, and uh, we've dis uh, described now that the uh, latitude longitude is going to be returned by this function called get lat long. So let's go look at that function now. So then um, having defined this function in action JavaScript, we just specify here that we'd like to run that action. So this function do map is simply running this action that was defined using action JavaScript. And here's our get uh, lat long function. All it does is read the value out of the latitude control, read the value out of the longitude control, and then cr uh, returns uh, a uh, latitude followed by a uh, comma, uh, then followed by the longitude. So um, there was no actual, there was, there was no real coding uh, required to to get this uh, working and let's go back now and uh, run it again so we click the get my location button and uh, then we give permission uh, the callback takes place and then after the latitude and longitude have been retrieved we then go and position the map and put a marker on the map showing uh, my current position so uh, I hope you found that interesting thank you very much for watching